Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, UKids LLC. Uh, today we're gonna assemble the uh, Windstorm Dragon, one of the newer models we just uh, received a month, month and a half ago or so. Uh, it's been pretty popular, so uh, it is about uh, time for me to record the video. And uh, we have it right in front of us. So let me go ahead and just open it up for you guys. And we'll just go over the regular things that we always do uh, as we start assembling. So, um, as you can see, all the boards are inside. There's some wings. I'm gonna put those aside right now because uh, we're not gonna need them. Uh, obviously, the box includes all the tools uh, that are needed. There is some um, uh, fish line, uh, some of the rubber bands. Obviously, you'll need uh, the sandpaper or I usually use the precision file that I have uh, next to me, um, a little stick of uh, wax, uh, which is also th some thread, and uh, pretty much that's all we need. Once again, I put the wings on the side for now, as we don't need them until probably the late later in the assembly. And uh, let's see, we have, uh, what was it, five boards that uh, we're going to be using today to assemble this model. And let me open these up so everything is vacuum sealed as you can see just to protect it a little bit from the elements and uh, here's our manual all right so uh windstorm dragon and actually let's see it is five boards that was correct i'm gonna put them on the side and we'll go through the manual a little bit so first and foremost, uh, you got some of the uh, special instructions, uh, just to make sure you don't break any pieces. If you do, you can always contact us at uh, info at ugears.us uh, to get the replacement parts or uh, info, or actually, no, I'm sorry, customer service at uh, ugearsmodels.com. That's a manufacturer's email address. Uh, they ship from Ukraine. Um, if you purchase the model from us, we'll replace it for free out of the US warehouse. Uh, if you purchase it elsewhere, uh, we can fulfill it for a small shipping fee, or you can order it from uh, Ukraine, uh, customer service at ugearsmodels.com uh, at no charge, but it'll take a little longer to get here. Um, so uh, let's see, page number three shows you some uh, spare parts that are included on the assembly. Those are marked with a little plus sign. Uh, they're all on the boards. There's a couple helping tools, uh, H1, H2, H3. Uh, shows the location it's uh, on board one and two and uh, little uh, symbols here that are in the manual we got wax uh, when you see a little uh, uh, what is it uh, gear uh, tea candle tea light candle and a toothpick uh, that means you need to use the wax if you see sandpaper obviously you need to use the sandpaper exclamation point you need to make sure you pay uh, good attention uh, if uh, there, the little two gears with the arrows pointing out, that means, uh, you, uh, that means you need to make sure that the assembly is operational at that point of time. If it has a cross, obviously make sure you do not move these. Uh, ruler, uh, you need to measure something out. Uh, scissors, obviously you need to cut something. And then if you see a little bit two arrows pointing into the inner direction with a cross, or diagonal uh, slash across it, uh, meaning do not push these together yet. So uh, these are pretty much basic steps in the assembly or in the manual. Uh, and uh, a couple more warnings. Uh, when you push it, you just push it at the center a little bit and then wiggle the tool, it'll push the part out. So here's a couple examples of how to do it in case if you've never done it before. Once again, a little bit more of the symbols legend on the bottom there, and we can start with the assembly. Okay, um, page number four, step number one, uh, board number one, and uh, we get part number one out. Let's see, board number one, and part number one is going to be all the way at the bottom here. It's got a little design in here uh let's see and then uh four parts number two 
and they're, they're situated right about the middle of the board. Now, uh, I do need a little helping tool, which is bottom right of the board. And I can uh, push these parts out uh, to assemble them. So uh, let's see, we rotate the part with the design facing towards the back. And then we insert uh, the parts number two in these little day, not, not the square ones, but the four other holes that are on the little part. So the way I usually do it, I uh, pre-insert them or maybe a new way of doing it. So I pre-insert them a little bit just to get them into the hole. Another way to do it, you can put a little bit extra or a little bit wax on the edges there. It'll help to push the part out. Then I use a helping tool and center it over the part and push it in. So now we got A1 done and ready. Uh, put it aside for now. Uh, next step, I'm gonna move the menu a little bit out, try to do it in the middle, because I know like I try to push it towards myself a lot of times uh, during the video, so I'll uh, work on that. Uh, step number one on the bottom, uh, we need part number three. Uh, which is going to be at the top uh, of the board here. So it's a long, big part. Be careful pushing it out to make sure it doesn't snap. And then uh, we need part number four and part number five. Those are, uh, let's see, seven, five, five is right here. To the right, halfway between the middle and the top of the board. So I'll push one out. And then four, let's see where our number four is at. Um, looking at the manual. I see four is right here. I'm a little blind. So I would just need one of fours and one of fives. Uh, we need to send and wax both parts. So as I said, I, I usually like to use my little uh, precision file. It's just uh, a little easier to work with, or you can use the sandpaper provided with the kit to um, send these. And then you apply a little bit of a wax on both of the parts all around the cylinder. All right. And let's see, part number four goes on that little tab right here on the bottom. And then part number five, we insert it on a long tab. And there's like a, uh, a long rectangle uh, so the longer side is in the uh, surfaces, uh, in the same axis as the uh, flat surfaces of that larger part. So we put the part all the way in, all the way to the end, and that's our A2. And we need two of those, so part number three, the second one is on the bottom here. Same thing, we need part number five, second one, and we need part number four. Push these out, send them a little bit just to get the uh, uneven surfaces out, the connection points, send them out, and apply a little bit of a wax all around. Well, general, uh, generous amount of wax, I would say. I don't want to say a little because these are going to be for some moving components and you want to make sure there is no friction between them or as little friction as possible. So just make sure you wax all around so the surfaces are nice and smooth. All right, so this is uh, same situation here. Part number four on the bottom here, all the way in. And part number five also all the way in. So we got two of those now. Uh, step number one on the bottom right, we need the A1, A2, uh, and part number four, 
seven and six. So four, we already know where it's at. Just one of those. Now we need to find part number seven. Uh, let's see, it's at the, at the top. There's a couple of spares on there too. Uh, then part number six. Part number six are right here towards the bottom. Careful pushing these out. And we'll put it on the side. Uh, now, part number four is the one that we need to apply a little bit of sending to. And wax. All around. And now we'll take A1, uh, rotate it with the part number two facing a, a, away. Uh, we take one of the A2s and with the long uh, longer part. Uh, so let's see, part number six, we insert over this little uh, part number four. And then uh, this little long tab that goes through the hole in the top right corner goes through. So you put it on uh, and then you put part number seven over it all the way to the end and then lock it up with part number four. Let's see how far that has to go. I would assume all the way in. All right, that's, uh, we're done with step number one on the bottom right. Uh, step number two on page number five. So it's a similar thing. Uh, we need another one of fours. Uh, one more seven. And part number six, bottom right, uh, right here. So not only part number four needs to be Send it a little bit. And waxed. Once again, it's because you're gonna have a moving component over it. All right, so same situation here. Take part number six, put it over the little number four. Top left now on the other side goes through five. Then we lock it with seven and four. Now you got our little wings almost. All right, so our subassembly A is completed. Moving on to step number one on the bottom of page five. We need three parts number four. Uh, let's see, nine, eight, 10, and 11. All right, so three parts number four. A little below the middle on the left. And then we need part number nine. Part number nine is all the way at the bottom here. Push it out. Part number eight is a little above it to the left of the center line, almost on the bottom of the page. Uh, let's see, part number 10. 10 would be, let me see, top right corner right here. And then part number 11. Uh, part number 11 are these guys right here, they almost at the middle. All right, now we got to wax or send force, take these little uh, connection points out. Uh, part number nine, take the connection points out, same thing. I'm just uh, sending everything through first, and then we're gonna move on. And then 11 needs to be waxed, so I'll, I'll send it just in case two, uh, or not 
plain case, but they chose to send it and wax it. All right, and then this, uh, just make sure there's no burrs, and if you have a little bit, take them out. All right, so now we gotta wax all these parts. So let's see, all parts number four have to be waxed all around. Once again, make sure you don't skip this these steps because uh, if you do, there will be um, issues with operating the model after the assembly. I mean, it'll look pretty, but uh, it might not operate as needed just uh, because there's a lot of friction in it. And once again, most of the time, uh, there's a lot of components in these uh, models, so you need to make sure that everything is waxed and sanded as shown in the instructions. Otherwise, uh, there will be problems at the end. All right, so we're uh, still working on that assembly. Number eight, that goes through nine with the dots on the bottom. Two little dots, so that's how the eight goes in. Uh, let's see, next we got the, uh, okay, we need to wax this, and as I was saying, we need to make sure that we wax all the parts, and then I forget to wax one of the parts. All right, so wax all around. Okay, and then with this one, two dots on the bottom. Two dots on the bottom with two axes facing uh, at position number 10, if you look at straight at it, clock position 10. All right, so that goes over part number eight. Squeeze these together. Uh, four, part number four, three of them go on the back. And then part number 11 goes in the front. And it has to be all the way against the uh, little gear. Just like this. So your X is at 10 o'clock, two dots on the bottom. All right, so that's our B1 subassembly. And then let me clean off the surface a little bit here. Then uh, step number one on the bottom right of the page. Uh, we need, we need uh, let's see, four, part number four, three of them again. Part number nine again on the bottom here. Part number 12, that was right next to eight. Then part number 13, bottom right. And part number 11, which is a little above the middle to the left there. All right, and we're going through the same exercise, which is uh, sanding the parts a little. All around. Part number nine and then part number 11. Okay. And then once again, wax all around. on all the parts except number 12. I mean, you can also wax that, but it wouldn't give you do any good. It'll just be easier to insert the parts onto it. See a couple little burrs here, so take these out. And I'll wax the gear right away so I don't forget about it.
and part number 11. All right, now same scenario, number nine with two dots on the bottom. With the long tap, we insert part number 12 in there, as far as it can go. The little uh, gear with the two dots and the X facing uh, two o'clock position, if you're looking at the model, goes on the opposite end, part number 11, and locking the gear in, and then three parts number four, all the way to the end on the back. Once again, if one of them breaks, there's some spares on there. If you run out of spares, uh, give a, send us email, we'll get you a spare, spare part. Um, B2 on the right hand side, we're done with page number five. Moving on to page number six. All right, and then step number one is part number 14. That is on the right hand side here. Larger piece that looks like head of the dragon. And then part number 15, uh, So it, which is right next to it. I'll use a little tool to get it out. And then here you need to make sure that little hole is to the right as you're facing uh, uh, the uh, part. So there's two holes in the middle here. And there's one little hole right above. So it has to be a little bit to the right. And we insert part number 15 from that side. So if you have it on the left, that means it's incorrect. Part number 15, push it all the way in. That's our B3. Now uh, we take our subassembly A with the, uh, let's see, parts number six on the, towards the back there. And then we do B2 is going to be on the left side. And that goes through these uh, part number six hole. All right. All the way in. That part number nine is in the hole. So part number nine is in the hole. Uh, six is also over parts number four. And it's nice against the surface like this. And then B1 goes on the opposite end. Now the two axes or axes have to match. So I'm gonna rotate that part around. So X is gonna be kind of like at nine o'clock. And then I'll do the same thing with the B1, except I'll put it in a little bit first. I'll then rotate the part itself, probably the other way, to match the axis. And then I'll insert it fully. So now our axes are matched up. Now, as you can see, parts number nine are inside the holes completely. Fours are sitting through parts number six. Two X's are matching, so it's nice and good. And now we put part number B3 over it with the 15 sticking out, or part number uh, B3, yeah. With the part number 15 sticking out towards you. And you go over these little tabs. So squeeze it on the top, yeah. Make sure all the holes match up. There you go. Just like this on the bottom. On the top, squeeze it up. All right, so everything is good. And let's see, we do need parts number 16 on these little tabs right here to lock it up a little bit. All right, parts number 16, I'm gonna put that on the side. It looks like a, uh, not even sure what it looks like. Um, step number three, need to, to part number 16. And uh, they're on board number one. Mm 
need to find them. Top right corner. Need the tool to push these out. All right, now let's see if anything goes through these parts. Just in case, I will apply a little bit of setting to it because normally if it's a cylindrical part, we may have some movement, but it doesn't show we need to apply a wax, so I'm gonna keep it off of it. Uh, little dots on there. And let's see, it's pointing to those dots. It looks like it should be, they should be facing kind of like in a, as long as your axes work lined up correctly. So the little dot facing towards the wing and on the other end too, same thing towards the wing, just like that. Now, step number four, need to sand a little bit right around. So I'll use the sandpaper this time, right around this part right here where it's sticking out. If it requires sanding, I would put a little bit of a wax on there too. And uh, let's see, we need two pores, number 17 and one 18. So we have 18 right here. Now I can take this out completely. There's only one that is needed and then the other one is the spare. So that goes on the side and then two 17s there at the top right here. And uh, let's see, 18 needs to be sanded. And waxed. And then the gears need to be waxed. All around. All right. And then uh, let's see the um, 17, they go on this little tab all the way in. That's why we waxed it. And then 18 to lock these up. And now we check the mechanism to make sure that everything is working. Might need to work it in a little bit. I wouldn't force it too much, just work it back and forth until it's nice and smooth. Here we go. Now I have completely revolution. So we need to make sure this part is essential. Let's see, until it's nice and smooth, I'd say. Just need to make sure that I'm holding it completely. There you go, it's getting easier, easier, easier. All right, now it's operation is nice and smooth. So as you see, the wings are moving up and down. Both directions. Okay, so now the part is worked in and we'll put it on the side. All right, next step, number five, we need two ports, number 19. We're still on board number one. And then uh, three parts number 20. Parts number 20 are located right next to the 19s here, a little bit below the middle to the right of the center line. And 20s, we do need to, I'm on step six already. Uh, 
well, kind of in between five and six. So we need the part number 20, we do need to send all around. And wax all around. Uh, I will also, let's see, send a little because there's a connection point right here. Uh, connection point on the other end. And parts number 20 all around too. So I'm kind of, once again, between steps number five and six on board, uh, page number six. In between, so waxing and sending everything that we need to wax and send. All right, and now, Parts number 19, we bring them together and we put part number 20 over it. Uh, let's see how far it goes all the way to the end. So I need to wax the ends here too. Actually a little bit sending too. All right, so number six. Page number six is done and step number six is completed. We're moving on to page number seven. Step number seven, we need part number 21. It's a top right corner right here on the board one. And then we insert it from that end. And it has to go all the way in. has to be completely seated. Let's see. And I'll put a little bit of a wax here. All the way to the sit in the hole. All right. Now we need part number H2, which is on board number one and that's gonna go in between here and let's see how far do we push it not too far but you can see the part number 21 sitting against it so now we take our self-assembly and we insert step number nine, we insert this piece right into the center hole there, up until the helping tool, right? So I guess the helping tool is just to make sure it doesn't fall in. And we turn it around. Um, step number 10, we need two parts number 22, one on the bottom right here, and one is at the center, to the left of the center, a little bit above the middle there. And we need to wax right around these little tabs. All right. And then let's see, these get inserted. So as we're looking at it with a little tab facing up. So the opening is kind of to the right then to the left here. And we insert these all the way in in the same direction. And then two parts number 
So there's exclamation point how you need to insert two parts number 23. They're right at the center here. Make sure you wax all around. And then if you see, there's like a little teeth on the inside too. So these teeth are supposed to face counterclockwise direction. So I'll get this over one. And then same thing here, counterclockwise direction. I'll put the second one right over the top, just like this. And we lock it up with part number 24 which is at the top right corner here. And that has to go all the way in, just like this. Now we turn that part around and we try to rotate this. So one way is just clicking through and then the other way it should rotate the wings. Counterclockwise rotating the wings. Clockwise direction and just clicks through. All right. Uh, done with page number seven. Moving on to page number eight. Step number one. So I'll put that subassembly aside for now. Uh, step number one. I'm just periodically checking, make sure I'm still running on the video. Don't want to go back in steps. We need part number four. Part number 26. Which will be on the bottom there, the little gears. So we just need two for now bottom left and part number 25 a little bit above there closer to the center line now we need to wax the little tab on the 25 need to wax the gears And we need to send and wax part number four. All around, now 25, the gear, all the way in, another gear, all the way in. Little part number four, all the way in, little sub gear. Then part number 27, same board. Uh, right here, a little above the middle to the right. Um, two, two, two. And two parts number 28, which are right below there. Now we send these where the little openings tabs are. Not send, sorry, wax right around there so it goes through much easier and then make sure this hole is to the right as you're facing it and from the front you insert these two little tabs go all the way in so they're gonna lock it up all right we're done with the c2 next Step number one, we take that little big or big subassembly and then C1, the little gears, goes right in the hole here. There you go. And then C2 goes right over it with, once again, with the holes, the two little holes on the right hand side. 
So just me and Chubb do it all. These two parts, top, here you go. Uh, that's complete step number two. Next, we're moving step number three on the bottom left there. We need parts number uh, uh, 29 and four. All right, we got one more, well, two more fours left. And four cent. And part number 29 on the left hand side there, a little bit below the middle, and we need to wax it. and uh, let's see they go on the assembly B uh, number four gear right or 29 gear right over this tab that is sticking out here all the way to the surface and then four locks it up all right and then we got part number 30 Right here, a little center, right in the center of the board. With, uh, let's see, so there's a hole right here. And then little tab uh, facing towards the left. And it shows do not click it in yet. Do not, oh, do not push on here on the bottom because you will break it. So we're pushing it everywhere else. Make sure we get everything lined up. So we push it on the tab, lock it up. Push it on the other tab, lock it up. Make sure it goes over the hole. Do not push on here because you will break the part. And so that's what a little leg legend here. Uh, and let's see, uh, part number C. Now we turn around and once again, we double check that everything is operational. So there is a little of lag, here we go. And you just make sure that the movements movement is nice and easy and it work, it is worked in. So rotating clockwise direction will just skip it. And then rotating counterclockwise should move the wings. All right, so that's our part C. Put it aside for now, moving on to page number nine. Uh, step number one, need four. One last one that we got left. Two spares are left on there. Two parts number 26, bottom right. Part number 31, right above it. And let's see, let's wax a little bit. Part number 31, parts number 26. And part number four, send it up a little bit and wax it. All right. Now with the long piece, 
that's where the gears go on the long, si uh, long tab. And part number four to lock them up. And that's our D1, put it on the side. Step number one for D2 is take part number 32 right in the center above the middle there. We need part number 33 right above it. I'm gonna use the tool to push it out. And then 34 is a little to the left of it. All right, so let's see. With a little uh, tab facing towards the left side, 33 goes from the back in that little opening right here, right next to the tab. So I'll do that one first. Insert it, use the tool, and push it all the way in. And then 34s go into the top and bottom hole right here, right above and below the little center hole. One and two. And then I'm using the little tool to leverage this in, balance them out, and push them in. All right, that's our D2. Next, put it aside, bottom left step is uh, we need, uh, let's see, five parts, number 36 and 35. So 35 is on the bottom right right here. And then 36 on the left. And looks like we're done with this board. So I'm gonna take out the spares for now, just in case. I'm sure I'm not gonna need them because I used the parts already and they're fine and throw away the first board we got only three left now we need two wax these little tabs on part number 35 the corners just to reduce the friction and then parts number 36 we need all five of these We need to send them all around. These are our bearings. they're nice and smooth and then we apply a little wax or wax all around uh, based on how much wax I've used up so far I will need a little extra we'll need to notify the manufacturer to make sure that they provide probably a spare piece in there but uh, no worries usually well not usually but it is a regular um, household wax that uh, you can use so or regular household candle. I uh, usually prefer the little tea light candle wax. All right, so now these little 36s go all around onto part number 35. And that's gonna be our D3. Now uh, we take our C sub-assembly, turn it around. And these uh, D3 goes right above this little or big tab and right into the hole that's our step number one step number two i'm gonna put it aside carefully uh, we need parts number 37 there on board number two top right corner and we need all five of these so uh let's see so 
same thing. Send. You don't need to send much. You don't want to lose the cylindricity of it. So just a little couple uh, runs to get rid of the um, little tabs or connection points. All right, I'm still running and it's good. And we wax all these all around. So now they're done and we put it over this tab. All the way in. One, two, three. Four and five. All right. Next at number three, we take the D1, and that goes right into the little hole on the. Make sure the gears match. All right. And we're done with step number three, moving on to page number 10. We put our D2 with the tabs, these two sticking out, and this little tab goes through the hole here. There's tabs here on each side, just like this. All right, everything snapped together. Step number five, we need part number 38 and four. 38 is going to be on board number two, right in the middle here to the right of the center line. And then we need part number four, which is uh, bottom right. Uh, I thought we used them all up, apparently not. So, <coughs> we sent part number four. And then wax. All around. And we wax part number 38. And I just ran out of piece of wax. So I need to pull my spares. All right, from the old kits. And we wax all around uh, part number 38 and then we insert that with the uh, teeth facing toward the uh, clockwise direction and then the part number four right over it to lock it up and just like this step number six we take the little helping tool out.
put it aside. I'm not sure if we're gonna need it or not, but just in case, do not throw it out yet. And then part number 39, step seven on the bottom there. I'm we'll turn that piece around. Uh, page number two, part number 39, to the right of the um, center line. That goes uh, right here. And then it shows a little cutout on how, so there's like four tabs in there to make sure you slide all these parts in between. Kind of like this. To make sure it fits in. This facing towards the back. And let's see, push it in as far as you can. So it sits nice and tight. And let's not move anything yet. So this is still sitting horizontal. We're not moving anything. It says do not work these in yet. All right, then the next step is, we're gonna put this aside. Next step number one on page 11. uh part number 40 and 41 so 40 is that big piece right in the center here 41 is uh on below the middle to the left of the center line work it out and then kind of the tail facing towards you this 41 goes right all the way in the bottom here piece all the way through and okay, symmetrical I'm pushing it against the table so it sticks out the same on both sides and now we need part number 4443 and one two three four 42s so 42s are right here two three four two, three, four, same thing, there go, let's see, first one goes right here, the all rectangular holes, I guess, so they sit in the middle, or symmetrical, both ends, And then part number 43 to the left here goes on the right side and then 44 on the left. Just need to make sure the holes match up for now. All right, so these guys are falling out. So what are we gonna do is that we're gonna start with part number 43. We're gonna insert these first. One, two, Three, four. I'll push it in a little bit further. Now I'm gonna put part number 40. I'll put it through it. And then 44 to lock it up on the other side. That's our E1. Make sure it's all squeezed nice and tight together. Put it aside. And then step number one on the bottom there, we need part number 45, top left corner. Part number 46 gonna be 
bottom left corner almost. Uh, 46, let's see, goes on the right hand side and this little tab and with the round off towards the top. it all the way in then part number 47 right at the center here it goes right through this little hole here all the way in and then part number 46 right here to middle to the center goes from the other side to lug these two up in the same direction all right so we push it through 40 Seven first. Just like this. And that goes on to our sub-assembly with 47 towards the back and to these two little tabs. As far as they can go. Move it aside, step now, uh, page number 12. Uh, step number five, we take that sub-assembly that we just created and we insert it with the tail towards the back, obviously, uh, into these little slots. So let's see which slots will match up. Make sure that is seated all the way. As far as it can go. All right. Do not rotate this yet. All right, next, push it aside, put it aside. Step number one on the bottom of page 12. Uh, we need part number 48, bottom left corner here. And parts number four, 42. We got one more left. Parts number four. They're on the bottom of board number two. Parts number four need to be sanded and waxed. And then Waxing a little bit of this little tabs and then 48. I mean, four, two parts number four. Forty two goes through the hole. And then 44, four, part number four on one side, and then part number four on the other side, squeeze them together. And put it aside as a F1. Step number one to the right, on the right side, bottom right of the page, we need part number 49, which is on board number three, top center right here. And then uh, two parts number four. And we 
we go through the same exercise of sending it all around. And waxing. And they, they go on the tabs here. And that's our part number F2. Squeeze them all in. We're done with page number 12. Moving on to page number 13. Step one. Uh, we take our subassembly and that gets inserted right here, I believe towards the back and then the part number four goes right into the hole there so it just sits there kind of like with the little pendulum I will put a little bit of a wax on the surface here, just in case. All right, that's our st steps one, two, three, and step number one, then step number two. Uh, let's see, on the other side, there's a hole. So our little piece right here with the arrows pointing towards the front goes right into that hole right here. With the arrows pointing towards me, I didn't insert it correctly, so this little hook is towards the front. That's the way it's supposed to go, and you kind of slide it in there. All right, one, two, three. Next, we need part number 50, uh, uh, which is on the center on board number two. And then we need to open this up, lift it up. And there it goes, let's see. Start, stop facing you towards the bottom. We insert with that on that hole first. Then rotate it. Not all the way in. Uh, rotate it. There's like a little slot that we can push it through. Hopefully. Trying to work it in. There we go. Just like this. And now we push it in over all these little holes and tabs. Need to make sure it fits over all the little uh, cylinders. There you go. Top is good. There 
third center gear didn't fit yet. Gonna use our helping tool it a little bit. To get that, that's a pendulum, here we go. Now it's in. Not all of these are in. Now we squeeze it all, all the way in on the bottom. And let's see, all the way in on the top. And it should lock all these little tabs in, preventing them from moving uh, in and out. Start, stop. All right, everything is good. Everything is good. All right, now, We lock it, and then this little pendulum here moves, and then we lift this part up. It goes further, lock it up, move it up. So we, when we put put this little tab down, the pendulum should move, and that's what we're checking. And then when it's down, we rotate the key, rotates one way, and then now we need to make sure that that whole sub assembly moves. So we need to work it. without trying to help moving it with the gears rather than with the key. Because it is a lot of parts in there and uh, moving components. Let's see, we need to work this out a little bit. Work it in. little too tight somewhere so it's not moving freely I can rotate it clockwise but we need to spin the other way so I'm gonna try to work the gears a little bit force it too much. I don't want to break any teeth on any of the gears.
right, here we go. Little bit of a little movement. Hence the importance of waxing everything. As, uh, as you can see, there's somewhere a little tap, a little tiny burr that doesn't let it spin. So I can easily, obviously that goes very smooth. Somewhere I squeezed it a little too tight. But we're gonna work the gears back and forth, continue. And it should there we go. A little bit of a movement. Feel that little burr somewhere, which is not letting me push it through. All right, so let's see where could it be. Squeezing too tight. Separate the parts a little bit. Try here, try here. Do not work it in too much but just a little tiny bit to release the gears. So I'm just working with this gear back and forth. To get some movement in. Once again, it's somewhere Got stuck a little bit more. And we need to release that friction. I think I see it. One of my tabs right here is not fully seated. Maybe this will help. And there's another one.
interesting. Where I could have locked it up. But we do need to work through this problem. Um, let's see. There you go. Finally starting to get some movement. There you go. I feel that little bird somewhere. As you can see, there is a little bit of a movement. I'm afraid to break that key. There you go. There you go. And I'm rotating, I'm actually on that rod too, so going counterclockwise. We just need to, once again, make sure that it's nice and smooth operation. Get stuck somewhere here. There's one little burr. Here we go, finally. Come on. We just need to overcome the friction. And I think we just did it. There you go. So our pendulum's moving. The gears are moving now, it's really easy. And I just wanna make sure that it moves as smooth as possible. Everything is working properly now. All right, so we can move to page number 14 now. And let's see, we need a little rubber band that is half an inch diameter or 12 millimeters so the smallest ones out there and that goes let's see on this little uh, hook Just like this. And then we go with our helping tool. Through this hole right here. 
right where that rubber band is at and we grab that rubber band somehow and we bring it over and hook it on a little tab right here on this part okay that's one through four now we put that part aside temporarily step number six on the bottom of page number 14 we need parts number 52 and 51 51 is on the board number of two and 52 is on board number three right here so 52 with this little um sharp pointy thing away from you goes through the center hole with a tab all the way in oh did it put it in correctly so the small hole goes towards the bottom and then part number 53 also on board number three sandwich in between 63 goes through here from right side to lock it in all the way in and that goes on the back right here make sure it's pushed all the way in a little here we go tight and that's our part f put it aside now step number uh, page number 15 so if, i don't know if I, I was on the screen but it goes on two little tabs here so anyway uh step number oh page number 15 step number one we need a long big rubber band the thick one There's like five of these in there. We need four, two, three, four. And we gotta twist them like this. So you just twist it and loop it over. Kind of like a double loop. And uh, let's see, we need part number 54 on board number three. And we need to make Four of these rubber bands onto each hole. Or double up on each hole. So twist it. In one side, out on the other. Twist it in, out, twist it in, out. All right, now that sub assembly is going to F. And we're putting it right over this little tab here. Kind of push all the rubber bands in. All right, and then we lock it up with 55. Which is gonna be 
kind of tough. You gotta see there's like a thinner portion. So you gotta squeeze this part on there. So like push it down on the part and push the 55 in. Get it locked in. There we go. It's all locked. Now we grab two and it goes in between. It goes in between. So let's start with uh, the one that's outmost. This guy. And we're gonna go through through hole right here. Oh, wrong tool. H3 on board number two. I guess I can hook it up with this one at least. All right, so I go in here, I grab the two rubber bands that I just pulled out. So they have to be paired up as we inserted it. There you go. First one's there. And we pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it on one tap and break the tool. And we go on to the second tap, just like this. Uh, let's see, I need to come up with a different tool or I can try to use my fingers. Same thing we do with the other one. Well, I won't be able to, so I'll do it one at a time. So I'll do the, we go through the bottom here. I'll, do, I'll use the other tool. I'll pull one side. Do we? I should have used one at a time. That's why my tool broke. Um, then we do, let's see, the top ones. Uh, top one's gonna go on the right. I'm using the other tool since I broke the first one. And where does the bottom one go? Ooh, I should have done the bottom front first. Okay. All right, so let's fix this up. I'm gonna unhook that. And we'll try from the start.
That's why you gotta pay attention to the instructions. So we'll do the bottom one first. Bottom one first, that's number one. And that's number two. Now we do the top one. That's the one on the right, uh, on the left side. Sorry, not the top one. to come up with a different tool because this one is not working very well but uh let's see some um rubber bands are on the way second rubber band and one more that one should go in here For you guys if you didn't break the tool it would be much faster and easier but since i'm struggling here with the tool and here's my second rubber band now the top one that one was easy the second top portion And the last rubber band that is on the side there.
Sorry, I'm coming off the screen, but I'm just struggling with these uh, bands. But I'm in the last one, so. Making decent progress with not all the tools available. See if I have anything to grab it with. Um, There's one. And the last one. And the last one, almost on, perfect. So bottom and right, uh, bottom and left sitting on here, top and right sitting on here. Alrighty, lots of struggle, sorry for that. And let's see, we are on uh, page 16, step number five, done. Pay, uh, pay, uh, step number nine, we need part number 56. And that's on board number three to the left here. And 56 goes on the right, left, yeah, let's see. Left hand side through these tabs right here. Apparently we're holding it upside down, so so it has to go like this. I mean, there's only way one way to put it on, so okay. So part number fifty-six upside down. On both ends, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then the second part, number 56, that's step number 10. It goes on the other side. like this all right okay so we're moving on to page number 17 all right page uh, 17 step 11 uh, we need uh, board number two uh, let's see parts number 57 and 58 so 57 is right here and we'll need two of these so 
So 57, 57 on the bottom there. Uh, 58 are on board number three. Uh, 258 right here. And then for step number 12, we need 59. So let's push those out too. 59, yep, 59. All right, so uh, let's see, 57, 58, and then 58 goes on like this. And then 59 is right next to it. Split it up a little bit and push it over to the end. And make sure they line up, two holes are lined up. All right, same thing on here, since we need two. Fifty-eight first, and then <coughs> fifty-nine. All right, so it's H1, and then we take <coughs> our assembly, and we put H1 right at the front here. Let's see. It goes like right on these little tabs, or not tabs, but the cylinders. Just like this. And then step number 14, we put number 60, which is also on board number three. That's right at the center here. Let's see, so we need to rotate the key. See, we need to make sure that everything is lined up. Where does that go? Give me a second, I'm trying to figure this out. So that goes right here. To lock this up. All right, that before I insert it, I just lost this guy. So there's like a little slot right here, and that's where that little tab goes into. And it goes as far in as you can push it in. It should 
should be flat right here. And step number 15. We need parts, let's see. Five, four of them. They're on board number two. There's five right here and five right here. Then part number 61, two of those. Board number three, 61. So we need total total of four. So step number 15 and step number 16. So 61, 61, and then two 62s. We need total of four of them. Part number five. Then we need to send and wax all of these. So part number five, send and wax, send all around. done with sending and now a little bit of a wax and every single part number Make sure you put a good amount on it. Once again, there's going to be it's a cylindrical surface. Something's going to rotate on it. And so we need to make sure that every they're waxed all around. Every part is waxed. There you go. All right. So we take our sub assembly. Now bring these two together and we put two on one two on the other and 
then we take part number 62 and this one with the little slot facing towards the bottom put over it and two of these guys and then 62 we like this up There you go. And we do the opposite. And the other side. So it should be just a mirror view. All right, so we're done with page number 17. Let's clean this up a little bit. Moving on to page number 18. All right, now we need to double check that everything moves. All right, it's... Uh, to start and then we need to line it up there you go here's the movement of the wings so it's Technically, when we lock it, it's supposed to let us wind it up, and then we unlock it. The wings unwind, so everything unwinds, and the wings move the way they're supposed to move. So, looks good. Uh, that's our H. Now, next uh, step is number one on the bottom there. So we need uh, part number 63, 64, and 65. All these uh, parts are on board number three. So 63, and actually we need two of the, two of each. So 63 at the top here, 64, Right here at the little above the middle. And then uh, the other one is on the bottom there. And then 65 uh, right at the center, a little below the middle. All right, so 63. 64 goes like this over it and then 65 to lock it with a thicker one towards the back So 
So we've built it 60, uh, through 64 first and then through 63. That's our I1. And then our I2 is going to be mirror of it from the other side. like this so they're a mirror of each other i1 and i2 moving on to page number 19 step number one we need to part number 66 it's on board number two that's the long one right here the last part on 60 on board number two so we can pitch it out your gears facing you um Board number 67, 68, 69, they're both on board number 3, 67, right at the top here, 68, let's see, on the bottom right here, 67, here's another one at the bottom. And then 69 right at the center line a little above the middle all right so 69 goes on the bottom 67 at the top uh, 67 through the top 68 on the front or back with a th thicker portion towards the center so with a thicker side go and then the other side just like this step number two we need I2 it goes on the right hand side and you put it into the slots and then move it away from the center So I'm kind of helping with the uh, holding both top and bottom and pushing it away as far as you can. And then same thing with I1. We insert it in so that Round off portion is towards the front, towards the U-Gears uh, logo. And we'll do the same thing here. There you go. So they're pushed out all the way to the edges. In step five. Now we need part number 70, also on board number three, bottom left corner here. And that goes from the side of you gears, kind of like in these in. And then 71, that's a step number seven. 71 is a little below the middle here. Uh, uh, 
to the left of center line and it goes right underneath the slots here and same thing you push it push it in push it towards yourself away from the U gears as saying like in these two together done with page number 19 moving on to page number 20 part uh step number nine part number 72 on the bottom left corner of board number three that goes into these two little slots that are close to you gears and locking these uh, i1 i2 together even further So I'm kind of squeezing the, these parts. And we push the part in as far as it can go. Now part number 67, step number 10. It's on board number 67. Let's see what board it would be on. Should be on board number four, because we're almost done with three. Board number four, top right corner is part number 67. And then part number 73 is right below it on the right hand side. So 67 that goes through here, and these sluts all the way in, and then 73 right underneath it with the little pointy thing facing away. Just like this. Make sure everything snaps together. Now we need step number 11. We need parts number 74. Those, both of them are at the board number four, right at the center at the top here. We put a little bit of a wax on the longest pins here just to make sure that they slide through fine. And then we put one on the left side and one on the right side. Squeezing it all the way together. Just like this. That's step number 11. Put it aside for a second. Step number 12 on the bottom, page 20. Need parts number 75. That's on board number three. Two on the bottom, so we need two of these. And then part number 76. And then we need a bunch of 42s, one, two, three, four. Then those are on board number four. Top left corner, one, two, three, four. All right, so we insert it into 75 first. Four little holes, square holes, and I going through the center. And push them in with the tool. Then uh, 
76. We put right on these little tabs against the 75 and then lock it up with the 75 on the other side. that goes into the little assembly that we just did right through the center here there's through these holes and step number 15 we're lucky with part number 77 on board number three top left corner We push that through the little sub-assembly that we just did. Let's, uh, let's see. It's not coming in very well, so I'll practice first through. Just make sure. Um, I'm gonna send a little bit of these little connection points. All right, now it goes in very good. And we'll do it through the hole now. And then we need two part number fours. Let's see, do I still have them? They're right on board number three, right at the center here. Two number fours, same thing. We need to uh, send these a little. Put a little wax. All around. And put it over that part. one side and then on the other side and then we'll squeeze these two together I'll use the helping tools So put them on there fully. This part should move a little bit up and down. And then step number 17, we put number 78, which is on the bottom of board number three. And board number three is done. That goes right over these little tabs with the horns facing towards the U-gears. like this 
all the way in. Now we need the little small rubber bands. Let's see where the edge. Right here. So this is the not the smallest, but the second to smallest. thread so there is a little hook right here so we go from this side let's see from here Trying to read the instructions. You need a little bit of a thread, and the thread is needed to pull this uh, this through. So we need about 100 millimeters, four inches. Notice this is the first time I'm using the little um, knife. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just a small piece. Put the rest of the thread on the side and so we grab the little rubber band with the thread Hold it together, then let's move this little thing or handle, I guess, through and put the thread through the hole right in the middle. Pull it with uh, pull it with the thread, push it through the hole, and we need to hook it up on the other end. That little rubber band right around. the same uh, hold, a little tab holder for the rubber band, just like this. So it goes from one end to the other end. And then we can remove the thread, put it on the side. You don't think you need it for the step anymore. Now this part is gonna be a little, gonna have a little bit of a balancing. All right, so we're done with uh, 21. Page 21, moving on to the page number 22. And we are take the our larger assembly and we need to put numbers, part number 79 on board number four. It's at the top left corner here. That goes right through the bottom. And then, uh, let's see. We spread these guys a little bit. So now let's see, make sure the wings are facing towards the front. You spread these guys a little bit and insert that part number 79 into the slots. So you spread these up, bring the subassembly down and insert and squeeze them together to set it on there. It's 
Please and tight. Step number 21, we need part number 80 also on the board. And that's gonna be right at the, um, above the middle to the left of the center line. And the question is, did I insert it correctly? No, I did not insert it correctly. Should go the other way. So we need to unhook it. Is it supposed to go the other way? Apologize for the arrow, error. And I made sure to squeeze it tight. Now I need to disassemble it. Here's one is off. And the other side is off. Was not paying attention to the instructions. So I need to flip it over the other end. So make sure the wings go towards that. Front. Your gear stays in the back. Here we go. Now, part number 80 goes right through this slot right here. Like in these two little bars together. Make sure to squeeze it all the way as far as it can go. We're not winding anything up right now. Just yet. Put that aside. Then we need step number one on the bottom. Is parts number 82 and 81. There should be somewhere at the top here. 82, right at the, in the middle, center line. And 81 a little bit to the left so 82 goes through the center from the left side part number 83 right at the center line here and then 84 a little bit below to the right so let's see with this design facing away from you 83 with a little pointy towards you goes right through and then we need to wax all these round off pieces and I would probably not only wax, but I would send a little bit if there's connection points on here. And wax them. The round portions, the cylindrical surfaces. around now 83 with the pointing towards you and then 84 to lock it up kind of mirror image of 81 
put that aside a little bit for a second. Uh, step number three, we need parts number 42, 85 and 86. 85 and 86 right here at the top right corner. And 42 is our top left corner. Need two of 42s. Six, so we need through these 85 that's ahead so there's two square holes put right through those helping tool to push it all the way in then part number 86 And then we put these little sub assembly with, let's see, with a sharp end towards the top or that pointy thing towards the top. And put it right in here. Step number four completed. Step number five on page 23. We need part number 87. Right top a little bit to the left of the center line Let's see no connection point so we just need to wax it up a little bit that goes right into this slot uh, actually the opposite way so with a little tap to facing down and then part number 88 top left these two number 42s locking these guys in uh, step number seven I'll put this on the side right now numbers 90 and 89 90 is two of them one is to the left one is to the right little below part number 89 so 89 and then number 90 goes on one side and then the second number 90 goes on the other side Push them in as far as we can. All right. And then that head goes right in the middle. There's a slot right there. So that's where the slot goes in. That's step number eight. As far as it can go. Step number nine. Uh, we need part number 91 and 92. 92 is right here, right above the middle on the left hand side. And number 91. is let's see right here right at the center middle so we go from the back 91 goes on the left side 92 goes through that part so let's see number 92 we need to wax a little bit the little tabs just to make sure that it's going they're gonna go easy easier through all the required parts so once again 92 
goes through the sluts. Then 93 on the other end. I see 94. 93 is this big guy right here. A uh, little to the left of the center line, right above the middle. We need to wax this round off portion. And that goes with a little tap towards the bottom. That goes into the slot right here. And then we lock it with 94. 94 is gonna be right here to the left, right below the middle. And then 95, which is right at the center here uppermost part for now just right above the middle same thing we wax a little bit of the tab and then 94 goes over these two tabs and 95 goes right in the middle of them so we Take 94 out first, put 95 in, and then I'll try to squeeze it in in between. I know I have the part falling out, but I'm trying to get this. Started first. There we go. fiddling around so I need to make sure that part number 94 sits on these tabs I already started 95 so now I just need to squeeze it further to lock these guys in now part number 96 right at the top left corner here that goes through the bottom in and that locks our neck in done with page number 23 page number 24 98 97 kind of same exercise 98 right here to the, to the left 97 to the right of the center line wax And 97 goes through these little tab. So as I said, same exercise. Here. Then part number 99 and step number 14. To the left of the center line. To the right, sorry. And then that goes with this slot towards the bottom. Right here. And then 100, step number 15, 100 and 101. 101 is to the left. And 100 is right at the center, right below the middle. Same thing, we need to wax 101. Push it through 100. Start it up here, 100. Make sure 100 goes over two tabs. And then push 101 further in, as far as it can go. And 
and then lock it with 102. 102 is all the way at the top left corner. And push that one up as far as, far as it can go. Locked. All right, number 17, part number one of three and one of four. One of four to the right, a little above the middle. One of three is this guy. Below the middle to the left. And we continue the same exercise. That's step number 17. Step number 18, we bring the whole sub-assembly in. There's a little tab right here. We need to put wax on here. I don't remember if we waxed it before. And then that goes right over it, just like this. And then we need part number 106 and 105 to lock it up at the top. So 106 is a little uh, right in the middle to the left and 105 is right below it. Same thing, wax the little tab. One of five, we started here first a little bit. We put the Squish these guys together, make sure the neck is still on there. And then uh, let's see, step number 19 is done. Step number 20. Uh, we need two parts, number 107. There at the top left corner of uh, board number four. Little sending, uh, we don't need it, but it'll just look a little bit nicer. And then these go over little tabs at right at the neck here. On both sides, as far as they can go. Then step number 21, we need part number 108 and 109. They are right here at the middle. That's 109, it's gonna go on the right. As you're looking at the face of the dragon, and 108 is on the left. Let's see. They go into the little hole first and then we lock it up right above that little uh, tab into the tab just like this same thing on the other side little hole here and then over the tab that we just put the part number 107 over just like this 
Next step is part number 110. Right uh, at the middle here, below the middle of the center line. And then that goes locking these two parts together. As far as we can push it, make sure it doesn't unlock. And that's our K. We're not checking the mechanism yet. I'm gonna put it aside. Step number one on the bottom of page number 25. Making sure we're still guys running. And that's uh, 111, 112. They're on board number four. 111 is the tail. 112. There's two slots. Go these, put this in as far as I can go. Board number 113. It's right here, a little. Uh, the middle to the right of the center line. Goes through the slot of the tail. Put it aside for now. It's 114, 115, and 42. One more 42. One fourteen. To the right, almost at the edge there. There. And 115 is right here to the left, halfway between center line and the edge, right below the middle. So let's see, 42 goes right into this hole. Push it all the way in. Fifteen right over it. And then we go with the tail that goes right into that slot. And then we lock it up with 116. 116 and all the way at the right hand side of board number four. Lock it up with 117, which is right here to the right, halfway between metal and the bottom, to the right of the center line. Lock it through this slot right here. Page number 26, part number. 118, 42, and 119. One more 42. One eighteen on the bottom right. One nineteen right over one twenty. So 42, <clears throat> and then 119 over it, and then 120 to lock it up, or actually put it onto the tail. Take the tail facing down into here, and then 120 over it, and lock it up with 121. To the left of the center line on the bottom there. Mm 
Then part number 122, 42, and 123. 42, 122, to the left of the center line. 123, to the left, all the way on the edge. over and then we lock it up with 124 so put it on the tail lock it up with 124 right at the center line almost at the bottom there it's a long tail and then once again these two pieces lock with 125 125 is right on the right hand side, it's kind of like lonely part in the middle here. Then next is 126, 127 and 42. One more 42. 126, 127, and then we're gonna need 128 and 129. And then 129 to lock it up. And that's our L. Just like this. Then we take our uh, large sub assembly. Uh, part number 130, step number one on 27. To wind up the mechanism, hold the model in one hand and rotate the winding key clockwise and with your other. All right, so we'll check that mechanism a little bit later. So we need part number 130, 131. And let's see, in part K, we put the little tab here first, and 130, push it all the way in, that goes in the back here, the last for it. All the way in. Then we put the tail on there. Like this, kind of like a continuation of the dragon. Then we put part number 131 over it, over that part number 42, there we go. And then we lock it with 132 right here. And that should go all the way in. All right, and that's our Step number four complete. Now we check our mechanism. So we stop it. Wind up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve half turns. Don't go further. 
then we press down. And then we get a little bit of a movement. Burr somewhere. Yeah, it's like enough of the same location, so. So everything works as needed. I'm gonna unwind it completely. Now let's see if we're gonna need it in the next step. Uh, page number 28. We start assembly of legs. five let's see our board number four is completely done we're in board number five last board part number 133 and 134 uh, step number one <clears throat> so 133 is right here 134 is at the top. We're gonna need to wax this little tab right here on the bottom, circular one. 134 goes through the top from the left side. Just like this, lock it up. Step number two, 136, 42. 42, 136 is somewhere here, 135, 136 top right. And 135 is right here all right so 130 135 and 42 and then 36 make sure the holes line up we need to wax 136 and push it all the way in mm -hmm. so I did it 42 is inserted incorrectly make sure you put it the right way in So you can slide 136 over. Then we take that sub assembly, we put it right here. And then part number 137 and step number four. Right at the top here. That goes with the T uh, tabs facing towards you right into the hole and then part number 138 to the right on the right hand side here halfway in between middle and uh, top make sure the holes line up it goes like this over it 
Then we lock it up with part number 139 and step number 6. 139. Alright, I'm not seeing it. On the bottom. We'll roll all the way at the bottom. Of course. That's why I don't see it. That's uh, right through these slots right here. All the way in. Next step number seven is part number 141, uh, 141 and 42 141 top right corner 140 is right here this little piece To 141 we need to wax a little round portion here over 42 now our little sub assembly right here in this slot so there's good movement and then part number 142 step number nine 142 is right here top right corner that goes with the uh, tab away from the assembly it goes into this hole right here the little T on the bottom. Then part number 143, step number 10. 143 is right here. A little above the middle to the left of the center line. Lock it in. And then 144, step number 11. It's right at the center line here. It's gonna lock these guys together. Just like this. And then step number 12 for number 145. See 145 is right here, 42. And then 146, 146, 146 right here. like this step number 13 that goes right over the this little tab Like it with 147. Right in the middle, center line. And 
moment that whole assembly goes on to the dragon with these two tabs right in the back let's see we're facing it towards the front push it through this slot right here Rotate it around, I believe. Let's see, let me look at this. Okay, so we, there's a little slot right here. So we push that long, long tab through the slot, rotate it towards the body. And then uh, these holes go over this tab right here, and this is facing you, the tabs. And then we need three parts, number 148. I'm going to put the dragon on the side right now. Three of these guys. Send it and waxed. All right, so uh, we're on step number uh, 16, uh, three parts number 148. I have already uh, waxed them and uh, let's see, we put them right through here. So this leg, there's like a little tab that goes into the hole and then three of parts number Uh, 148 goes right into this hole right here. So these are rectangular holes and we'll push it in all the way in. All three. Here we go. And then the third one. Just like this. Let's step number 17, uh, parts number 150 and 149. They're both on board number five. That's the only board that we got left. Uh, so let's see, 149, right at the top left. And then 150 is, let's see, one a little below the middle to the right of the center line. Uh, so that goes right over this tab for the part 149. And then 150. There's a little, two little tabs on the food that we just made. So like just like these two right here and you 
you can move them together. And then step number 18, we need parts number 151, 152, 153. Let's see, 151. That's right here, right in the center, a little bit above the middle. 152 is right at the top center and then 153 is right here right above the middle line to the right of the center line and uh, let's see that goes 151 152 And 153 through the three holes. So we'll do 152 first. One fifty three is done. And then step number 19. Here's, uh, let's see, it shows through these two holes. figure out how it goes in let's see all right so uh, the bottom goes through this hole right here bottom tab and then the circle goes through this uh, this tab right here at the top And then part number 154, it's right here to the right of the center line at the top. We lock this part from this side. these two tabs of part number 153 squeeze them all together and then we're done with part uh, page number 29 moving on to the page number one, uh, 30 and then part number 155 we enter from the back side 155 to the right, right above the middle. At the three tabs. Two tabs at the top. We bring these two feet together. That's so we insert these two tabs at the top through the legs and uh, step number 22, parts number 156 and 157. 157 is right here and 156 is a little bit below. On 156, we need to uh, wax this little circular portion. 
and with a sharp end towards the back three holes that go through the uh, little 155 tab just like this so two top tab uh, the metal tabs completely uh, kind of flush and then the two uh, on the outside are sticking out and that's what you put the uh, part number 157 on just like this And then that whole thing right here, 158, locks up this little sub-assembly. 158 to the right of the board, locks up this assembly right here. And then 159, three of them. There's two on the bottom. Two, two 159s and one 160, which is to the left. Or there's one at the top here. And all three need to be sanded and waxed. all around all right so 159 they go into this hole right here Push it all the way in as far as it can go. Second 159 goes right behind it, and then 160 slug it up uh, right at the top, just like this. And then we're done with step number 24. Uh, step number 25 as parts number 162 42 and 161 that we're here to the left of the center line a little bit above the middle so 162 is first we're gonna put 142 i mean 42 without one and then 161 with a sharp point towards the bottom there through the part number 42 and that goes right at this little round piece here and then we lock it up with 163 which is right above these two guys also sharp towards the back and just like this so we have like little uh, claws facing towards the back and we're done with page number 30. Moving on to the page number 31, put this dragon to the side for now. Uh, part number 133, step one on page 31, uh, which is gonna be right at the little bit to the left of the center line here. Then 134. see to the right of the center line closer to the bottom there then 134 goes through these two holes just like this and then we wax a little round off portion 
little cylinder. Next step is parts number 135, 136. Uh, they are at the middle here to the right, 135, 136. And then we connect these two with part number 42. the center hole right here uh, we need to wax this little round piece again make sure the holes are matching up and then part this part that we subassembly that we just did that goes over this piece round off and we lock it up with 137 and step number four 137 is to the right bottom right here. With the tabs facing towards you, that goes through this little hole right here. And then we lock it up with 164. 164 is going to be, uh, let's see, right at the center line here, all the way at the bottom. With this little slot facing towards the top, towards the slot right here. And matching the hole. And then we lock it up with 139, which is right at the bottom here through these slots all the way in on both ends that's step number step number six step number seven are parts number 143 42 and 141 uh, 140 141 42 we got 42 41 is right at the, halfway between the uh, bottom and the middle here. Make sure that opening slot is facing towards the top. Insert this incorrectly. There you go. Just like this. That goes through into the opening, I mean, into the uh, round cylindrical piece right here. And then part number 142, right in the middle here. T towards the bottom and then the tab facing you goes through this hole right here. And then 140 locks it up in step number 10.
140 locks it up and then 142 will lock the pieces 144 in step number 11. Uh, let's see where 144 is at. It's right here to the left, halfway between middle and uh, bottom. And that locks up the whole subassembly together. And that's done with the step number 11 on page number 31. Moving on to the page number 32, parts number 165, 42, and 145. 165 right at the center, a little bit below the middle. 42. And then 145 uh, below the middle to the left of the center line. Just like an instructions, and then that goes. Let's see. Little circular opening here, taps facing towards you, just like this, and then lock it up with 166. And that whole assembly goes on the left hand side through this slot right here. And kind of similar situation, the tab goes right into the hole, then the other tab goes through the set of uh, uh, through the set of holes there. And then we lock it up with parts number 148. Three of them. We had them out, so we just need to wax them, send them and wax them. And put a little wax all around so this part goes through that larger hole of that foot. Or leg, full leg, I guess. Uh, right in here. Push it all the way in. Push the second one in. I'm using the helping tool to get those all the way. And then uh, parts in the step number 17, parts number 149. is to the left right here it goes through the tab towards the back and then 167 to the top left that goes with this round up portion towards the top into these two little tabs right here locking it up then we need parts number 168, 169, and 153. Let's see. 169. Need to find 168. 168 was this large piece that fell off for me. 
169 and 153 153 right at the center here halfway between the middle and the bottom with the shorter tab towards the top goes through 169 the short tab and the long tab goes through 169 and then into 168 so all three tabs go through here and then that whole sub assembly goes bottom tab goes through middle hole right here and then the large hole goes into the tab by the leg Step number 19, step number 20, part number 170. Right here at the center middle. Towards the back from inside. Through the two tabs that are sticking out. Just need to get to these. Squeeze these two together, locking the food together. Then uh, 155, bottom right. This part snapped on me. Let's see if we can use it without replacing it. That goes through the back here. Then part number 171. Broken piece right here. It is a structural component, but it should hold off. I'll see in a second. 155, so that's 171, then 172 over the top. 172 to the top here. And yeah, it should it should definitely hold. So 172. And then 158 to lock these two guys up. 158 to the left. Well, not to not these two, but it goes right in here. And then parts number two, number 159, bottom right. And part number 160 at the top right corner right here. As always, we wax and sand all of these. And these go right into the hole in the back leg on the right hand side of the dragon. opening and we use the tool to get this in
push the 159 in as far as it can push the second one as far as it can go and then 160 is going to cover it all the way at the top and our next step is uh, let's see uh, part number 173 42 and 161 that goes from the back from the inside of the leg right here and then we lock it up with 174, bottom left. Little rebuild here. I just noticed that I put one part wrong. We're just reversing it in a different order. Fixing on the leg just to make sure that it's facing the right direction. go 174 and we're done with O. next step is uh, we need a nylon thread Uh, let's see, so we need to stop this, the dragon. We need a nylon thread about 500 millimeters long. So let's see, 250, 250, that'll be 500. To thread it through Yeah, 
need to make sure that our wings looks like we need to make sure that the wings are up Push the thread through this hole right here. It has to go underneath the ribs. Let's see, threading, threading. <laughs> So I'll put a little bit of a wax on it so it doesn't fall apart. All right, so it goes through the first, let's see, are we on the right side? Yeah, it goes through the first hole. And underneath the part here. So we do need to bring the wings down a little bit, sorry. Here we go. Otherwise the thread, it goes through, but... Uh you can't fit it underneath the, the part, so it goes right underneath here. We'll bring it over towards the front. Goes right back into the hole right here, the first hole. Bring it out, over, and then it goes underneath these ribs. Through the first, second we skip, third, all the way to the neck, all the way through the neck, all the way to the head, there you go.
there's a hole right here. And we go back pretty much the same way on the other side. Coming back the same way, just on the opposite end. And uh, back out. And we need to fit that part back into the hole. Now let's see if I can do that. I'm just cutting off the uh, little bit of nylon thread because it's not going to fit. It starts spreading a little bit, so I uh, just cut off just a tiny bit just to make sure I can fit it in. Let's see. We got it. First portion. Now we got to bring it into this slot right here. And then in the second slot, bring it over. And then through the slot again. And 
maybe one more time. Just to be on the safe side. And then we slice it through. Because I don't have the scissors, I'm gonna use the knife. It's done with page number 35, and we'll do the same thing. Let's see. Step one, we rotate the key, because we still have the little piece right here. We bring the wings down. Wings down, head up. Mouth open. So we're looking at the picture number 12, where the head has to stay up, the wings kinda down. And that's when we put the thread to lock it up here. bit of a movement by head so I'm gonna cut the rest of the nylon thread off and we're done with step number three and page number 36 Step number four on page number 37, we need part number 175, top right corner here. And that goes right through the foot here. Over and into the slot of the wing. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side, 175 bottom right corner, same thing through the hole of the foot, kind of over the wing and insert it right into the hole here. That's one and two, three and four, steps four and five are done. 
Uh, now, when we wind it up, it'll make this heat too. Front end up. Done with page number 37, page number 38, parts number 176 and 176, two of them. One is in the right. One is on the left. Left wing and right wing. One's right here, the other one's on there. I'm not gonna insert it completely because I do need to take these off for travel, but that's where the wings go. And then we'll put the wings right here. We secure it with part number 177, 178. 177, 178 on the other side. We will need a little bit of a rubber band to tie them up at the ends there with a little nylon thread. And then we complete the assembly. I'm not gonna finish it up in this video. Uh, you see that it's working. So we'll just need to do the wink, uh, winks uh, separately. Um, as I said, I need to travel with it. So this is pretty much the done of the uh, assembly. Uh, I'm gonna remove it here, but uh, we see the full operation is uh, all working. Uh, we do need parts number 177 for later and to 178. I'm gonna take these with. We're done completely with all the boards. Everything is good. Um, if uh, there are any questions, uh, please uh, send us email uh, or you can leave the comments below. Uh, recently, I haven't had a chance to answer all the questions on uh, YouTube videos, but I will do my best to do it so to do so. Uh, so feel free to leave the comments and I will get back to you. Uh, or you can send email to info at ugears.us and we will answer it at the best of our knowledge. If we cannot answer it, uh, we'll forward it to the manufacturer who will definitely help you guys out. Um, if any of the parts break during the assembly, you can send us email once again at info at ugears.us. We'll help you out. And if you purchased it from us, we'll ship it at no charge. If you purchased it elsewhere, uh, there will be a small uh, shipping fee or you can order it through the manufacturer at customer service at ugearsmodels.com. Uh, once again, this was Dimitri with uh, UKids LLC. We just did the assembly of uh, Windstorm Dragon and uh, almost completed the assembly. Only The only thing that is left are the wings. Uh, I will do uh, those a little bit later as I need the dragon for travel. It's only two more steps. You just put the wings in, put a couple parts um, through the wings and you are done. Um, thank you and uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a good day.